it's a good thing that we did not close above 2552 because we would have bought above 2552, but we did not. So technical analysis is saving our asses once again. Let's take a look at what's happened in the stock market today and try to find some buying or selling opportunities using technical analysis. Tesla is down $6.95, down 3.76%, closed at 177.81. So what happened? You know, there's one bad news here. Tesla will temporarily stop production at German Gigafactory. So there's an activist. Groups in Germany are targeting electric vehicle manufacturer Tesla as it works to expand its Gigafactory Berlin. This is not the first time that we are hearing about that. So they are complaining about some stuff. I don't even want to know, but basically, so Tesla faces upcoming protests. Giga Berlin is taking preventative measures, including the closure. The shutdown comes as a result of an announced multi-day protest against Tesla. As a result, Tesla employees are being told to work from home. An email sent to employees on Monday shared the company's decision, according to the report. No access to the site or the factory is possible without explicit instructions and approval of your manager. This is not going to help production. So stopping a line, starting back the line. So we can already see that this will hinder production. So because of this, most likely Tesla is down a little bit today. It's still above 174.89. This is what I consider uh, the support, you know, an overlapping support as I talked about in my Tesla Weekly Live. If you are a member, we have a Tesla Weekly Live on Sunday. So I've talked about that. So we still are above that support. As soon as we lose that support, then, uh, you know, and this thing could go down. You know, I was hopeful yesterday, you know, things really wanted to pick up. We had good stochastic. We had everything that we wanted, except that we were a little bit close to the downward resistance. So when we are close to a downward resistance, there is always a little bit more risk than if we are closer to a channel support. But we could have had a little bit of a bigger, a bigger move. You know, in terms of indicators, everything is still good. Everything is still good. We still have MACD crossover. We have RSI above 50 and we have DMI. So maybe this is just going to last a day or two and then it could recover. Because if we look at the VIX, we see that the VIX is coming down. So down almost 2%. So this should be helping the stock market when we have a VIX that goes lower and lower. In terms of the bond, they have gone lower also today. US dollar a little bit higher. And in terms of energy, this is even Steven. Let's take a look at what our stock indices did if they did better than Tesla. So Dow Jones, pretty much even Steven, you know, up 0.08%. We have a little bit of a pushback right here. So this type of a candle, when you see this with a longer wick at the top, no wick at the bottom, this looks like we want to come down. So we'll see what happens, but it looks like. S&P 500 uh, continuing higher, NASDAQ, you know, not doing much. Let's take a look at our Magnificent 7. So Apple, after the big gap up that we had uh, last Friday, we are bouncing nicely on 180.24. Look at this. I cannot make this up. Came back down. Boom. Now it's bouncing a little bit. Because we made a higher high today and a higher low, I consider this a bounce. So it is just a little bit less re risky to enter right now as opposed to entering yesterday which was just a stop on support now it's a bounce on support this is a little bit better so you can get back in because of that if you want to amazon continuing higher amd nothing to say for that arm nothing to say google Continuing, you know, we had the move down and we were thinking maybe it's going to come down to 161.74, but it started to go back up at uh, last Thursday and now it's uh, continuing up. Microsoft, we have a rejection at 415.25. So we are rejecting that number and we don't have stochastic over 60 or we had it just briefly yesterday, but we did not close above 115. So 
you know, this is not looking too bullish. Meta, I'm continuing higher, but no statistics. So we should be concerned. NVIDIA. NVIDIA, I don't know what happened to... I took profit at the opening as soon as we started to move down. Uh, yeah, I took profit. So I'm happy I took profit. Look at this. It came quite low and came back up. So uh, this is this is kind of a weakening. Palantir, uh, after the earnings call, a not too bad earnings call, boom, cratering down. It's a good thing that we did not close above 2552 because we would have bought above 2552, but we did not. So technical analysis is saving our asses uh, once again. SMCI no longer coming down outside of the bearish channel, but still not time to buy. Let's take a look at some EV stocks. So BYD, we have a green candle now. We are still above 2816. This is still the time to buy. Put a stop loss that just a little bit below 28 for the stop loss. It's sometimes easier to go look at the one hour chart to find a pattern that you can base it on. So, you know, we have some resistance, which is now support at 27.68. So that would be a nice stop loss. It would also be just a little bit lower than that big wick right here. So that would not be too bad. Lucid in terms of earnings, you know, it was not doing so great. We are coming down, but still above 254. Neo still above 529. I'm watching this like a hawk. If we lose 529, I'm gone. Novanix nothing. Xpeng coming down. Earnings coming soon. Rivian, uh, you know, earnings are, it's not too bad. You know, it's 7% negative surprise on earning. 3% positive surprise on revenue. So we have nice volume right here. So some people decided to sell and some people decided to buy, but the volume is uh, quite a bit higher. So it's going to be interesting to see what this does. No one on graphite, nothing to say here. Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin does not have any force yet. I guess people were expecting too much. This halving would have an impact very soon. XRP doing nothing. Uh, gold and silver, no impulse move yet. Even though it looked like we would be doing something yesterday, but now you no know, stochastic is not over 60. So the chances of that happening were a little bit smaller. And uh, yet the same with silver. Oh, this is higher than where it was, but uh, no stochastic yet. So hard to believe that. So yeah, Tesla is not catching a good break. If we start breaking lower than 174.89, this is going to be a short for myself. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you like what I do, you can become a YouTube member. Click on my Trading View affiliate link. I'm going to wish you a great evening. We are going to talk tomorrow and I'm going to tell you, à la prochaine.